Hey everybody, um, this is not scripted, which, um, I feel like if I start writing what I'm feeling, I may never stop. So, um, I decided to t talk a little bit about, um, what some people may not understand about what your Jewish friends are experiencing. Um, so... Imagine if there was a, a massacre of an ethnic group or a religious group, um, the equivalent of 50,000 Americans. And imagine if what happened after that was that all over the world, there were marches of tens of thousands of people calling for further massacre of those people. I can't imagine it. It's unimaginable. And that's what it feels like right now as a Jewish person. That no matter your politics, no matter what you understand or don't understand about politics, no matter if you know the history of the establishment of the state of Israel, no matter if you know the history of the Jewish experience for thousands of years, including the history before Islam, There, there has not been an experience in my lifetime that has prepared me for this. I have heard from many people my whole life that anti-Semitism is growing, that the Holocaust, while we say we will never forget, many have forgotten and the swiftness with which the global population has seized upon the massacre of Jewish civilians living inside of a border, the swiftness with which the world has stepped up to redefine terrorism, to redefine statehood, to redefine the right of a people to exist. Nothing has prepared me or any of us for this. I've long said that there are certain people for whom it doesn't matter that I have supported a Palestinian state, that I have spoken out against injustice, persecution, and suffering of the Palestinian people. And when I would tell people that it didn't matter, they would look at me like, mm, you're paranoid. You're just paranoid. Well, I think that I was right. And I think that many of us are now seeing that there are certain people for whom it does not matter if you are left-wing or right-wing. It does not matter if you support the right of Israel to exist or if you've never been there. It doesn't matter if you look Jewish or if you don't. It doesn't matter if your family is from Eastern Europe or if they are from Northern Africa. It doesn't matter because it is clear. We get it. It is clear that there, there is a strain of anti-Semitism that is alive and well. It is thriving at my alma mater, where the chant, we want a Jewish genocide, was echoed in the quad in front of Royce Hall, the place where I took my doctoral hood had students of all backgrounds chanting for a Jewish genocide. This is not acceptable. It's not normal. We should not normalize it. There is no excuse for calling for a genocide of an entire people. Period. Full stop. I have an 18-year-old who is preparing to go to college next year. Many of the colleges 
on his list and the list of all of his friends are for universities that cannot find a way to unanimously, undeniably, irrevocably denounce any organization that celebrates the massacre of Jewish people. Many universities cannot figure out how to unequivocally state that organizations that incite violence and hatred by calling for an end to the Jewish people are not welcome to receive funding from the government of that university. This is astounding. Homes very close to mine are being threatened because of mezuzahs on the door. Jewish stars are being painted on Jewish homes all over the world. Is this the moment that anti-Zionists have been waiting for? The moment when the entire world bans against the Jewish people? I'm no longer afraid to draw comparisons to the global attempt at an elimination of the Jewish people, which my grandparents escaped Eastern Europe to flee. I'm grateful to those who have been able to see clearly. And I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed in many institutions I have always held sacred. And the lack of humanity is devastating. The notion that this is a comeuppance for the Jewish people, that's what you get. What did you think decolonialism would look like? I did not think it looked like decapitated babies and disemboweled humans and raped women being paraded around the streets while thousands cheer. And I didn't think it looked like tens of thousands of people marching in solidarity with the actions of a terrorist organization whose sole purpose is to eliminate not the Jewish state, but the Jewish people. My family in Israel has commented that they feel insulated in Israel in a way that they see we are not in America. It's true. I've always believed that Israel was my homeland and now I understand it more deeply than ever before. I am a stranger in a strange land here. And it took October 7th for so many of us to see that. I'm scared to send my child to school events right now. I'm scared to think about what he will meet when he goes to college. I'm scared that he has to think twice before writing an essay about how significant it is to be a liberal Jew in America and all of the things that we have fought for for the dignity of other groups, for self-determination, for the right to live. Am Chofshi, Be'art Senu, a free nation in our land. I won't apologize for expressing what I'm going through, what so many of us are going through. We are looking for moments of joy. I'm looking for distraction. But it feels like a nightmare that we cannot wake up from right now. For those of you who support the Jewish people, for those of you who support decency, and compassion 
and love and the hope of peace. Thank you. Thank you.